Hey, how you doing? Austin here. I want to talk about Shiba Inu. I want to talk about the price action and I want to talk about FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt in this video. And I want to deal directly with that head on. Okay. And uh, with all that said, I want to give you guys a disclaimer up front. I have got a horrific headache that I've had most of the day and it will just simply not go away. So I apologize if I seem, if I seem a little off or not quite myself. <laughs> it's my last video of the day. But I honestly was already done, but I wanted to make this video for you guys because I saw in comments as well as um, people in my private group messaging me, I'm sensing a lot of fear right now around Shiba Inu. Okay, and I want to uh, talk about that as well as always videos for entertainment purposes only. You know that. Here's where we're at. I want to give you guys a number. I've mentioned this number in previous videos. 100, 1,005. That's the number. 1,005. What is that number, Austin? In October, Shiba Inu rose 1,005 percent. 1,005% Shiba Inu went up in the month of October. You need to let that sit in for a minute, okay? Because you have to understand how big of a darn number that is. It is a massive number. That number should give you a little bit of solace. It gives me a tremendous amount of solace and tremendous amount of of comfort, if you will, looking at Shiba Inu. And in that, we also did not have a thousand and five percent and then drop immediately back down. That did not happen. Okay. With all that said, right here, right now, you see on the screen, it's currently trading in the 5.8 range down 15%. I'm going to remind you of the number. 1,005% is how much we went up in one month. These type of days where you have corrections happen. They are normal. This is how it works. You cannot every day be green going up. I realize that a lot of you guys know that. But we have a tremendous amount of new token holders in Shiba Inu. New people, new to crypto, maybe even new to investing. Okay, And I'm trying to use this as a platform, this, this, this channel, this video, to help ease the mind maybe of some of you guys out there who might be feeling a little bit of scared and freaking out going, oh my God, it went down 15%. I'm going to be poor in the next three seconds. 1,005%. going to keep saying it because it is relevant. Now, I also want to deal with emotions. I want to deal with the FUD. I want, and I want you to understand. I want you to know that I get it. Okay. I just said 1,005%, but I also want you to know that I get it. If you're new into crypto and you're new into Shiba Inu and you're new in this and there's FUD everywhere, there's FUD out there today, there are articles out there, there's a Motley Fool article saying, you know, we're going to go down in the next five minutes, Shiba's going to crash. There's all this crap out there. Guess what? It's been there the whole time. Every single day, there is a negative article about Shiba Inu. And you know why there's a negative article about Shiba Inu? Because usually the people and the, and the publication writing it, they write it to, get, to create controversy so that they can click, get clicks and get views to their, to their website so that they can sell advertising. Okay. The same thing can be said for the other side of the coin. When Shiba Inu's running hard, there are people who are writing articles saying it's going to go up a million percent in the next 10 minutes. And they're doing that because they it's a popular subject and they want to get clicks to get paid to, to get to make money off of advertising off their respective websites. My point to you is this: is that if you let FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt rule you, your emotions will rule you. And you will Make choices that probably you will regret in the future. Now, I'm going to say point blank. This is not investing advice. If you feel like you need to sell Shiba Inu for whatever reason, then that is your business. Me, I'm holding. Am I telling you to hold by that statement? Nope, I am not. I'm simply telling you I am holding. I am cool. I feel good about this. Nothing about my opinion about Shiba Inu has changed, period, whatsoever. None. Zero. But I want you to understand I get it. I do get it. I do get that it can be rough on days like this and periods like this when everywhere you're seeing and you're looking online and you're looking at this stuff and you're seeing all this negative crap out there. I get that. I do understand that. And if you if it's too much for you, if the roller coaster ride, because it is a roller coaster ride, by the way, it is. Not just Shiba Inu, Saitama, there's other, you know, Ethereum, they're all roller coaster rides to their own extent, one or the other. 
if you if it's not if you're not cool with the roller coaster ride, then maybe it's not the ride you should be on. Again, I would love to have you stay in crypto because we need more people in crypto. Then you probably may need to accept the fact that it is a little bit of a roller coaster. My point is this, okay, to to end on this is that you're going to have days like this where you're down 14% and you've crossed into the five, high fives. By the way, I said this probably would happen. I did a video earlier today. I said, hey, we got support at six and we may drop into the high fives. That is what we've done. And guess what? We may go lower than this. It is entirely possible. And you know how I'm viewing that? If we drop down in the fives and fours, I'm viewing that as a buying opportunity, straight up. That's how I'm looking at it. That's for me, not telling you to do that, not investing advice. That's a, for me, that's a buying opportunity. Again, guys, I care about you. I genuinely do. I truly care about my subscribers, all you guys that watch my videos, my private Patreon members. I care about all you guys. I genuinely do. And part of the vo- part of the part of my job sitting in this seat for you guys is to sometimes try to be the voice of reason and try to say to you, guys, I'm going to remind you of this. A thousand and five percent is where we were. That's how much we came in the month of October. That is a that's like we you know we walked across the entire United States. I don't know, give some big landmass is all I'm really trying to say in a month. I mean, or whatever. You get my point. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. Don't lose sight of that. Don't forget that. That's why I made this video. And when I made this video, I sat down I'm like I'm going to talk about one thousand and five percent because that is a number that is real. And it is a number that you need to remember because it is, to me, the only number. It's how far we've came. And we might give back a little bit, but that's okay. All right. Obviously, the dogs are barking. My car just drove by. There you go. That's Raider, one of my Australian shepherds. So with all that said, guys, thank you truly for giving me a voice in this. Thank you for everything you guys do for me. Thank you. All right. I got to go find out why the dogs are barking. There you go. It's not an Austin video if something doesn't go wrong. All right, guys, take care, take a breath, relax. This too shall pass. And if you feel like you need to sell, then, then that's your decision. That's that whatever's right for you. I'm holding, not investing advice. See ya. Bye.